the road tripping. When do you get to touch and feel a real World War II M47 patent tank? This is absolutely amazing. We are here at the 6th Cavalry Museum in Fort Oglethorpe. For those of you that live locally or traveling from out of town or out of state, stopping at the 6th Cavalry Museum is going to take you back to the day of Soldier and Steed. Imagine 1,500 horses here on the parade field and polo ground when the Army Cavalry was here from 1902 through 1947. We have a wonderful museum complete with an M47 patent tank and a World War II Willis Jeep on display. We tell you not only the history of the 6th Cavalry, but also all of the specialty camps that were here. The Women's Army Corps, the largest Women's Army Corps training center was here at Fort Oglethorpe. We had the largest prisoner of war camp in the country during World War I. We had the largest prisoner of war camp in the country uh, for the state of Georgia in World War II. The only African-American WAC battalion that got sent over to Europe for World War II came here to Fort Oglethorpe to do their overseas training. Not only do we have excellent displays, but we have people that come and want to find out maybe their loved one was here. Maybe we could look through our menus and our yearbooks and see if your loved one was a member of the six cavalry and so we do lots of patriotic activities throughout the course of the year you can come bring your dog run around on the polo field and just imagine here we're surrounded by 16 of the original officers homes the bandstands original all the horse jumps and so you are stepping on the ground that General Pershing stood on, and Patton, and FDR, and Teddy Roosevelt. And we filmed a Hollywood movie here with Lana Turner. You just don't get this type of experience anyplace else. We're right next door to the Chickamauga National Military Parks Visitor Center. All kinds of great places to eat out here, easy to get to, and we will make sure you have a wonderful time here at the Sixth Cavalry Museum. Welcome to the Chickamauga Battlefield. Uh, for touring here, you are, uh, have several options as you take the tour of the battlefield. Of course, uh, coming to the visitor centers where you can pick up one of the park maps uh, and brochures certainly has a lot of information to, to give you, uh, to guide you on your way. But uh, two of the things that you can do as you take the tour is use your cell phone in dialing a phone number at each of our tour stops. You'll notice a highlighted green section of the tour road. It is a seven mile loop that does take you by each of our eight tour stops. And as you get to each tour stop, you can dial each uh, this phone number at each one uh, to gain a brief description about each tour stop. Another option though, uh, is to use your smartphone and visit a website, chch.toursphere.com. And that is where you also get the same audio from the cell phone tour, but you also get uh, maps and photographs, so it's a little more visual information uh, to give you as you take the tour of the, of the park. Uh, as you do, uh, come to the battlefield, and if you do have an ancestor that perhaps fought here, uh, one of the things that we do offer is a battlefield app that is a free app for Android and Apple uh, iPhone users. You can download this app, and uh, when you type in the particular regiment that your ancestor fought from, it'll give you a list of each of the monuments, markers, tablets uh, associated with that regiment, and you can then go to that particular place on the battlefield to stand in the very ground that that ancestor once stood uh, during this uh, contentious battle um, in 1863. As well as when you do uh, visit the uh, battlefield here at, at Chickamauga, we do ask that uh, you pack in what you uh, pack out what you do pack in. Uh, we do not have any uh, trash receptacles uh, because, in a way, that it does take away from uh, the natural beauty of the area. Uh, hopefully, people do understand that uh, you know at, when we did have areas that picnic areas uh, that did have some of the trash receptacles uh, outside influences were, were bringing trash into the park and so it was just a decision uh, to have everybody uh, whatever it is that they bring in uh, that they also take it out with them.
named after a Native American word meaning beautiful waters or beautiful lake of the highlands, Lake Winnipesoka, commonly known as Lake Winnie, is an amusement park that opened June 1st, 1925. Oh, I love this place. Battleview Bed and Breakfast has been lovingly restored and hosts three guest suites and is conveniently located in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia, just steps from the Chickamauga Battlefield. Help your dog get some exercise at Bark City Fort Oglethorpe Dog Park, located by the Creek Walk right down from City Hall. It's for dogs of all ages and sizes. Come enjoy a day watching your precious pets run and play. Gilbert Stevenson Park is located at the corner of Van Cleve and Norris Streets. Walking tracks, tennis courts, swimming pool, playground, and picnic tables are available. This is a fun and happening place. And most recently, a new handicap accessible playground. Ground. Fun for all ages. State-of-the-art Jack Maddox Recreation Complex is a 55-acre facility located on Pine Grove Road between Ringgold and Fort Oglethorpe in Catoosa County. It features seven lighted ball fields, a 1.2-mile paved walking track, and a nine-hole disc golf course. Road tripping. We'll be back in two minutes. Stay right where you are. 